Hello, this is Seth from Northland Dodge and Prince George, and today we're looking at a 2013 Ram 1500 Laramie Quad Cab. Under the hood we have a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi and a 6-speed automatic transmission. This guy's in the bright white and it looks awesome. Up front here we do have the Laramie grille with the chrome accenting. It looks great. You do have the chrome bumper as well with the tow hooks. And you do have bifunction projector style headlights which are very bright. And you do got your fog lights hanging out just down there. Now coming around the side, we do have our 20 inch rims with Goodyear Wrangler brand tires and those chrome rims look fantastic. You do got the 1500 badging right there and you do have your heated exterior mirrors in the chrome as well with the turning signals on them. They look awesome. You have your running boards down along the bottom here and coming around the back, we do have a six foot box. Let's get through this snow. There we go, we got a six foot box. We do have our Laramie logo there, our 4x4 logo, and our Ram logo with dual tailpipes. Now you do have your backup camera hanging out there. Open this guy up. Lots and lots of room back here. It does have the bed liner on it as well, so it won't be getting all scratched up on you. Okay, we got our key here. So we got two presses to unlock, one press to lock. We got this guy for the air ride suspension to lower it down so you can get into the back easier. And you do have two presses of this guy to start up the remote start, which is incredibly nice, especially in winter when it's cold. It'll get those heated seats all nice and warm for you. It does also have proximity keyless entry, so if you have the key on your person, you just gotta put your hand in there and it will unlock, and you do have the button there if you did want to lock it through there as well. Now, on the door here, you do have electric mirrors, windows, and locks all right here. Plus, this button here does bring in your uh, your mirror, sorry. You got a bit of chrome accenting and a bit of wood accenting up here. It gives it a very nice look. Handle here, storage down here, and some more down here with some uh, water bottle holders. Now, you do also have the controls of your seat, so backward and forward, as well as your lumbar support and your memory seat. This one does lean it as well. Now, it is a leather interior, very comfortable, and it does heat up very nicely. You got the Laramie logo hanging out there. And over here, we do have the controls of our lights. So we have our auto, our off, our daytime running lights, and our low beams. Plus, if you push it in, you do have your fog lights. And then we do have the controls over our turning signals, our windshield wipers, and we also have the controls over our high beams right there. Okay, keys are in my pocket, so all you gotta do is foot on the brake, press the button, and we are good to go. Now in the center here, we do have our speedometer and our odometer, as well as our fuel gauge, our engine temperature, our battery life, and our oil level. So also we have which direction we're facing, the temperature outside, and how many kilometers we have been. So it's 62,000, not very many. Now you can also change that guy around. You can go from your speedometer to your vehicle info, to your fuel economy, trip A, trip B. You have your trailer tow, you have your audio, your stored messages, your screen setup, and then back to your speedometer. That is all controlled from your steering wheel here, plus you have the voice recognition and the call out button, horn in the center, and your cruise control options on the other side. Around the back of the steering wheel here, you do have a volume up and down. You have an identical one on the other side for your uh, channel as well. Now you do have an 8.4 inch touchscreen display here with Uconnect, so you have AM, FM, and Sirius XM all in there. You also have your media device if you have one hooked up through USB, aux cord, Bluetooth, or SD card. You get the controls over your heated seat, vented seat, heated steering wheel, then your mirror dimmer. As well, you got your climate control here. It is a dual climate, so you and your passenger can have different levels of heat, plus you have your seat warmer and whatnot. You got your navigation if you want to see where you're going or plan out your route, so we are in rec place, of course. And you do have your phone options as well if you did have one hooked up through Bluetooth. You do also have just your options there. Down here, we do have the controls of our two-wheel, our four-wheel auto, our four-wheel lock, and our four-wheel low. And then over here, we do have our volume up and down, our screen off, our hazard lights, our back button, our browser. Our AC, we have our circulation, heat up and down. You have the power here, off, auto, more uh, the level for the other side, as well as the front and rear defrost. And then down here we have our trailer brake, we have our air ride suspension here, so up and down it actually lifts the vehicle up or uh, puts it down. Then you also have your uh, traction control, you have your tow and haul mode, your heated seat, vented seat, heated steering wheel, vented and heated seat for the other side, and your park assist on and off. When you do switch into reverse, you do have that very nice backup camera. It looks great, and it does mark where you're going if, as you turn the wheel. Now, that is controlled from right here, your gear shift. So just like that is very comfortable as well. You got a bit of storage here. Some more right here, and some cup holders right over there. In the center here, you do have your armrest, which does double as a storage container. You do have a aux cord over here, a USB plug-in, and an SD card plug-in. You can close that guy up, lift this guy up, and you do have another storage container under there. You can put whatever you want, chargers or whatnot. 
over here we do have dual glove boxes. So we got the top layer up here and the bottom layer just down there with our owner's manual. And then up top here we do have the controls over our sunroof. We have our back window right here, the little one in the very back. And you also have your universal garage door open right there. There's our sunroof. It looks fantastic. It'll let in lots of light. And that's that little back window back there. Okay, let's open up the back here. It is a quad cap, so there's quite a bit of room back here. You do have that chrome accenting on the handle again. Uh, your controls of your windows handle here. Got a speaker down here. It does have nine speakers. It sounds fantastic. You got tons of room back here. It is the leather interior as well. And you can lift these guys up just like this. And there is a storage container under here. Underneath the other one is a subwoofer to blast your music. You can also fold this up just like this and lay it down. You can do the same with the other side and you got a flat surface to put stuff on top of. Very handy to have. And there's our 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. Well, that does it for my walk around video, the 2013 Ram 1500 Laramie. If you want to come and take a closer look for yourself or take it for a test drive, come on down to Northland, Dodge and Prince George and talk to our sales specialists. Thanks for watching.